Easter Monday, the 14th of April, 1941. Nella Last's Diary. Last night, a noise like the crack of doom sounded and brought us springing from our beds to rush downstairs. And my husband said crossly, it's only an explosion somewhere. If it had been a bomb, there would have been the sound of a plane or the alert. I'm going back to bed. Just then, the alert sounded and a plane flying so low that we feared for our housetop. Our gun fired one volley, then stopped. There was a frightful bang, crack, bang. The rattle of machine guns and the sound of chaser planes. The noise was terrifying, all so near and low down. Nothing more happened after the sound died away, as if the enemy was chased far out to sea, and after the all clear, we went to bed. This morning, my husband was called out early, and he worked hard all day, with all the men he could collect, to board up shop windows. There was only one stick of bombs, but the destruction from the two they have found is unbelievable. One big commercial hotel got one, and a little street the other. The former and four houses of the latter are just piles of rubble, and no one was saved from them. I could not have believed so few bombs could do so much damage. It made me sick to think what two airplanes and about four bombs could do to our town. After taking out the big tonne and a half bomb dropped last week, the experts said that it could have laid all in ruins for two square miles. And I believe it now. Bulging walls, gaping windows, hundreds of broken panes of glass, crazily leaning chimneys, flying ambulances, dirty, tarred, home guard, wardens, ordinary citizens, in demolition gangs, working like men possessed, with their shovels and picks going like clockwork, as if to the sound of a hidden shanty. Dazed-looking men, who were piling mattresses on hand carts, where people had been ordered to evacuate. Crowds of quiet, white-faced spectators who needed no pass along from the guarding police and home guard they wanted to see but not to linger over the sight of destruction my husband said i think we will order an indoor shelter after all we've ordered one by tonight's post and we'll put it up in the lounge I'll keep the rubber camp beds blown up, ready in the shelter, and have rugs and blankets easy to get at. We have talked about it long enough. My husband doesn't like to make decisions of any kind. And if I make the pace too much, he takes the other road. It makes him stubborn. So I've to be very tactful. Today has shown him how quickly a house or building can be a heap of rubbish.